Today we're gonna to discuss two specific types of payment pages and I'm gonna show you the difference between an order form, which is also known as a checkout form, and a shopping cart or e-commerce environment and how they both work and then we'll talk about which one is best for your company. First off, in order to make an order form or an e-commerce shopping cart work, you need to have a payment gateway in place. And as a quick reminder, there definitely is a difference between a merchant account and a payment gateway. And I'll link to both of the videos that describe the differences between the two right in the description and on the screens here, because you need to understand the differences between the two because they're not always one and the same. You need both of them to sell online. So in this quick comparison, just know that both order forms and e-commerce shopping cart solutions that we're gonna talk about will require a payment gateway like authorize.net, for example, NMI, CardPoint, and a handful of others, uh, you know, just to name a few. So let's start by comparing the two options with what they are and how each environment behaves. First off, let's look at shopping carts. A shopping cart environment is typically used when talking about an e-commerce environment with lots of different products to choose from and purchase. Think of a supermarket or a retail store or somewhere where there's actual shopping carts that customers can use. It's a big store, It's there's lots of inventory, there's lots of products that customers can walk the aisles and choose the products they want, put the ones that they want into their cart and take their time at their leisure to decide what they want. In the online world or the e-commerce world, you give your customers the ability to self-select the products that they want and then when they're ready, they can click the checkout or cart button and they can complete their purchase. E-commerce and shopping Shopping carts could be used to sell products or services, but most commonly they're used to sell physical products. The e-commerce platforms that are most common that help you power your online store and online payments are software companies like WooCommerce, VarCommerce, Shopify, BigCommerce, CoreCommerce, Squarespace, and a handful of others. Let me know in the comments which e-commerce platform you're using and which one you prefer. These are all website softwares that allow you to get a payment page builder for an individual product that typically shows a picture or multiple pictures of the product and you can add a description of the product, even a customer review of that product, depending on the e-commerce platform that you're using. But a lot of them are very customizable. These e-commerce shopping cart platforms are best suited to give your customers an option to pick and choose the style of shopping that they want compared to order forms for the purpose of our discussion today. They're suited for businesses with a deep catalog of products, most commonly. So if you have lots of products to sell, this could be and probably is the right option for you versus order forms. E-commerce stores have their carts available oftentimes once again at the top of the menu bar of the entire website and is visible to the public at all times. The customer can shop around, get to the payment page to order by browsing catalog and adding products to their cart and then checking out when they see fit. So that's the high level overview of e-commerce platforms. So now let's take a look at order forms. Order forms by contrast are typically made for one or two products or maybe a handful of products at a time and are generally used for streamlined ordering. So if you add more than one product to an order form, it's generally a bundle of products that go together. Like if you were to sell a ticket to an event and one line item was the event access itself or the ticket itself, and then the second line item was a VIP seat upgrade or something like that, for example. Of course, you could also use order forms to sell online courses, coaching programs, and other non-tangible services like that. So just think of something like an assembly line, for example, where there's only a couple of options to choose from when the customer encounters the order form. So there might be a big long line and when they get to the front of the line, there's only a couple of options that they can choose from to purchase. Order forms are typically far easier to set up due to the order form platforms that are available 
out there like Infusionsoft, Spiffy, Thrivecart, and ClickFunnels, just to name a few. These are all payment page builders of sorts. They're order form builders, and there's, there's a large, large list of them that are out there that you can buy a subscription to, and you can create individual checkout pages and order forms that, once again, house one or just a handful of related products to sell at one specific time. Oftentimes, order forms are preceded by a sales page of some sort, and it can be you know a video or a long-form text sales page that describes the product that somebody's going to buy prior to getting to the order form. So order forms, especially when created with a software service provider like a payment page builder that I just mentioned, will allow you to create custom pages that really help you to sell the service. They'll be designed to help you convert more of your offers. And yes, the design and layout does really matter when it comes to conversion. So there's simple pages like this, for example, that just show the dollar amount and maybe a picture of the product. And then there's others that have long descriptions, bullet points, uh, reviews, testimonials, everything that's listed right there on the order form for the customer to view. Once again, a lot of the order form builders and software programs that allow you to build payment pages like this will allow you to include bullet point checklists and security badges, rearrange the layouts, and even include videos in the order form, all in an attempt to help you increase the sales of the order form and the item or service that you're selling. There's also tracking codes built in so you can track your page visits and the number of conversions to optimize your pages as you see fit. You also don't necessarily need a website to use an order form to sell online. Especially with the presence of social media right now, you can link order form pages from any of the social platforms and have a customer go straight to your order form. This is all possible because with most order form builders, you get a hosted for you payment link. So when you publish the page, the software gives you a link that you can just distribute in your emails once again on social media and wherever you would like. And that's a feature that is common with a lot of them and almost required with some of them that will all come along with your monthly subscription for the software that you're using. So now to the considerations, which one of these two platforms is best for you? Well, that depends on your business as you probably have realized. As I've illustrated, it's about having the right tool and the right environment for the job. So both e-commerce platforms and order forms are gonna allow you to take payments online. And that's the obvious part, but depending on the situation, one tool is going to be better for you and more efficient for you to accept payments from your customers for your products and services. So here's a couple of questions to ask yourself to figure out if it's better for you to use order forms or e-commerce shopping cart platforms. Number one is how many products do you have for sale? If you have lots of products with multiple options and color variations like clothing sales or custom made crafts, then you're probably gonna be suited for e-commerce shopping cart solution. If you have a couple of products or a single service or maybe even a couple of services or an event maybe that you're selling, you're probably best suited for order forms because you can set the order form up once and get as many repeat purchases on that single order form as you have available. Number two, do those products that you have or services change regularly? And do you wanna set up your website for your customers to be able to shop continuously? If so, then you're probably suited best for an e-commerce and a shopping cart situation. If you haven't seen the seven ways to accept credit cards without a website video, I'll link it up in the description because it's all about order form, page builders, and which ones are best. The, again, it's not exclusively limited to those seven. It's just seven that I have experience with and have used for, uh, for clients and for myself. And on a quick side note, there are a couple order form builders that are not on the list that uh, come very highly recommended. So check out the link in the description if you want to learn more about what those are specifically. If you have additional questions about what your specific scenario is and whether e-commerce or order form situations are going to be better for you, or you have a question that is next level about which tool specifically or which software or how to get the payment gateway integrated and how to get it set up on your website or you know for your business, then find the link in the description description to book a call with myself or someone on my team and we'll take you through a handful of questions to just sort of self audit 
what your situation is and what's going to be best for you based on the tools that are out there, some of which I've mentioned in this exact video. If you're new here, welcome. Feel free to share this video. Again, if you have questions, leave me a comment down below. Every business has a checkout process and that's what this whole channel is all about. So if you're new here, welcome. Once again, I publish videos regularly on the topics of collecting payments online in a retail store, mobile environment, or all of the above. So my, my videos will help you set up a payment system that's right for you and that works for your business. If you like the comparison, give the video a thumbs up, please. That always helps the channel. Feel free to share it with a friend. I'm Brian Manning and I'll see you on the next one.